Welcome to the iHunter walkthrough, I'm going to go over the menu drawers and features of the iHunter app. The main view of the iHunter app is the map view. Your current location will be represented by the blue dot. To zoom in and out you can double tap, pinch the screen with your fingers, or use the plus and minus buttons on the bottom right of the map. You'll notice some map layers are displayed on top of your base map. If you tap anywhere on the map you will see a list of options for each boundary that encompasses the area you've tapped. The color of the icon on the left will also represent the color of the boundary on the map. Tapping on a hunting zone in the pop-up will bring you to the season summary for that specific zone. Each row is a single season, you'll notice some season have restrictions that can be viewed by tapping the restrictions option. The season summaries are split in three categories, big game, predators, and birds and small game. You can quickly access provincial resources such as the hunting regulations directly within the app at the top of each season summary. Tapping the filter button allows you to filter your season summary so you're only seeing the seasons you're interested in. Tapping on a boundary row within the pop-up window will display information about the boundary or parcel. Sometimes it is just a notice with a brief description and sometimes it is more detailed. The pop-up window contains buttons along the bottom that all provide actions or information based on the tap location. From left to right, first is the Add Waypoint button to drop a waypoint at this location. The Weather button which will show you current weather information for the tap location. The third button is the Go To button which will provide a straight line from your location to this tap location allowing you to direct yourself to the waypoint. Finally there is the Driving Directions button which will provide driving directions to that location iHunter has two main types of layers, base maps and map layers. All your map layers can be found in the bottom left-hand corner of the map view. Tapping the bottommost button will bring up your base maps menu. The base maps are the maps that you see below all of the other layers and are typically satellite, road, hybrid, or sometimes topographic maps. Note that some of the maps are cacheable for offline use. Please see the link in the description for the caching maps tutorial. The map box options are the only base maps that have 3D capability. After selecting one of the map box options you'll notice a 3D button show up on the right hand side of your map view. Tapping this button will allow you to toggle 3D on and off. You can also use a two finger swipe gesture to enable 3D. The uppermost button is the map layers menu. Here you'll find a number of sections depending on the province. The first section includes all built in map layers. The colored switches represent the color of the boundary on the map and allow you to toggle the layers on and off. Boundary color can be changed by tapping on the settings button to the right of the layer. Scrolling down further or tapping on the subscription layers tab at the bottom will bring you to the subscription layers section. If you're not subscribed you'll see an option to purchase. You can also purchase a subscription directly from the iHunter store at store.ihunterapp.com. Just make sure you sign in with the same account you use within the app. When you have an active subscription you'll see and manage your layers here. For Alberta, Manitoba and Saskatchewan you'll see a landowner maps section. Scrolling down or tapping of the section will bring you to the list of all available landowner maps for the province. Landowner maps are essentially the same as paper maps that you can purchase from our M's and counties. However, unlike paper maps they can be set to be semi-transparent so that you can see the base map underneath as well as your current location. Landowner maps can be purchased anywhere you have cellular service or an internet connection. Note that landowner maps will also need to be cached for offline use prior to losing a connection. Please see the links below for more tutorials on landowner maps. Both base maps and map layers have the ability to add custom map layers. At the bottom of both menus you'll see the add a map layer button. Tapping this will allow you to import your own custom map layers if they are available in a WMS or TMS URL format. Please see the link in the description for the user added map layers tutorial. In the right hand corner of your map view you'll notice a button with a wind icon. Tapping this button will enable the wind mode and show you the current wind information for your current location represented by the blue dot. Tapping anywhere on the map while in wind mode will change the wind information from your current location to the tap location, represented by the orange dot. While in wind mode, each waypoint will display wind information once you've reached zoom level 13. The zoom level can be determined between the zoom controls on the bottom right hand corner of your map view. Please see the wind mode tutorial below for more information on iHunter's wind mode. 
At the top of your map view you'll notice the search bar. This search bar will search all boundaries, waypoints, tracks, drawings, as well as do a Google search for locations of interest. You may also search by latitude and longitude coordinates to jump to that location. The right browse button will allow you to browse and search individual map layers. The left button of the search bar will minimize the search bar to maximize the map view real estate. At the bottom of the iHunter app you'll notice the bottom toolbar. Each button will open a drawer. The first button on the bottom left is the waypoints drawer. From here you can view all of your waypoints, tracks, and drawings. If you've marked any of them as favorites, they will show up under the favorites row. If you want to add a waypoint at a specific location, you can use the enter coordinates link which will allow you to drop a waypoint at a certain latitude and longitude, DMS, MGRS, or UTM location. From the buttons below you can add a waypoint at your current location, start a tracking session, or create a new drawing on the map. Please see the links below for in-depth waypoints, tracking and drawing tutorials. Each drawer has a question mark in the top right hand corner that can be used to provide a brief help page for that drawer. The next button along the bottom toolbar opens the viewing drawer. This drawer gives you the tools to control how your map behaves and helps you navigate within it. At the top you'll see the map tools section which allows you to center the map on your location, zoom the map to you, or set the map mode. The free map mode is default mode when the app starts and allows you to freely pan and zoom the map. The centered mode keeps your position in the center of the map but allows you to change the zoom level. The compass mode keeps your position centered and rotates the map based on where your phone is pointing. At the bottom you'll notice a save current view button which can be used to create a quick access shortcut to get back to the same spot in the future. Once you have a view saved you can easily zoom to it or set it as the default startup view when the iHunter app starts. The middle button in the toolbar opens the location drawer which provides information about your GPS position. At a glance you can also see your location, altitude, and accuracy of your GPS signal. If your GPS accuracy is less than 20 meters, a green indicator is shown. If the indicator is yellow it means your accuracy is between 20 and 40 meters. When the accuracy is greater than 40 meters the indicator will be shown in red. You will also see the red and yellow indicator show up on the location button in the bottom toolbar. You can quickly share your GPS position with your iHunter contacts, by text message or by email by tapping on the share link. All of the hunting zones and boundaries which you are currently in are shown in the current zones section. Tap on the current zones item to get a full list. At the bottom of the drawer you'll quickly be able to see the moon phase, sunrise and sunset time, hunt start and stop times based on your current GPS position. You can scroll the view to the right to see the same information for upcoming dates to help plan your future hunts. If you want to see the weather at your location just tap the forecast link. The fourth button on the bottom toolbar opens the messages and chat drawer. This drawer allows you to build a list of hunting partners with whom you can share waypoints, chat, and broadcast your location to. Note that an iHunter account is required to be able to use the chat features. Messages from the iHunter team are also displayed to help get important information out to you as quickly as possible. You can press the add link to add a contact or create a chat group. Please see the chat features tutorial video in the description below for more information on the chat features. The last button on the bottom toolbar is the iHunter button. This drawer contains account information, settings, resources, and help. If you're on an iPhone you'll notice the more menu link at the top. Tapping on this will bring you to a list of resources and contacts. If you're using an iPhone you'll notice the change province option at the top. Tapping this will bring you to the province selection screen. This link doesn't exist in the Android app as there is a separate app for each province found on the Google Play Store. Next you'll notice the sign in option at the top. Tap this to sign up and create an iHunter account. We strongly advise you to sign in with an iHunter account in order to back up your waypoints, tracks and drawings. As a reminder an iHunter account is required to use the chat features. Once you're signed into an iHunter account you can tap this row to edit your account details. At the bottom you'll notice a communications section which you can edit to be able to receive the latest updates, discounts, and promotions from the iHunter team directly to your preferred email. The next option is the help and support section. 
At the top you can quickly view the iHunter walkthrough that will cover the basics of the app. The next options are links to our other tutorial videos, frequently asked questions and other help documentation. At the bottom you'll see the email us button if you have any questions or concerns. Next is the My Purchases section. Tap here to view a list of purchases associated with your Apple ID or Google account, as well as any purchases that are being shared to your app from other platforms. If you're using an iPhone there will be a Restore Purchases button at the bottom. You should use this if you ever notice any of your purchases are not showing up. Note that this will query the Apple App Store and reapply any purchases that are linked to your Apple ID. On Android this step is automatically done every time you open the app. The App Settings row will bring you to a Settings menu where you can adjust a number of options in the app including the coordinate systems and measurement units. For the province of Alberta only, you'll notice an AB Hunt Log option. Participation is optional, please see the link in the description for more information on the AB Hunt Log program. That is the end of the iHunter walkthrough. See the links below for more in-depth tutorial videos on the iHunter app. Please email us at info at iHunterApp.com if you have any questions.